hello hello and welcome back um i'm just doing a quick little video on some new products that i found in my cvs last night of course y'all know i went in there with coupons but i didn't go in there to coupon real heavily but these are the milton pout the new milton pout gel liquid lipsticks from covergirl this last year and a half we have been in a matte liquid world and it was so refreshing to see a gel liquid lipstick and of course coupons I so I wanted to try it so the cool thing about couponing is you can always walk away with money to really buy what you want and in my case this is always going to be makeup so I went in to do the ibuprofen deal last night where you use the coupons right off the aisle and it gave you back ten dollars extra care above so before I start swatching I have some Neutrogena wipes here um, my olive oil which I will use to take off each gel li liquid lipstick and I have one the Milani balm that I talked to you all about a few minutes ago um shea butter coconut oil olive oil fruit oil sweet almond oil argan oil jojoba oil macadamia oil that's what it said to have in it now it says sugar smooth but it is not a sugar scrub um however I did use the elf um sugar bomb on it prior to like an hour when I was watching Wendy Baby's Goss. Color 100. Something. This is Jill Liberty. Um, I'm opening them along with everybody on camera. Like I have not opened these and tested yet. So let's swatch on this. Good color payoff. Natural looking to me. Um, brown girl friendly natural looking. Nice gel formula. It's not too sticky though. If I go any further, keep in mind the website is showing plenty more colors that I don't have. But let me read to you all what it says that it does. It's the liquid gel lipstick um, that provides an opaque high color impact and the soft precision touch applicator. Cushion and comfortable so lip color glides on delivery. Satin, keyword satin, not tick, not sticky or tacky. So opaque and satin. So we shouldn't expect a lot of color payoff, but five, which is gelful. And again, you all are, I'm just unsealing as I go. So these are brand new. And shout out to Miss Lipstick Queen. I think that's her name who taught me the trick about the olive oil in between lip swatches. A little squeaky, a little patchy. But with my matte cork liner, I think I like this. It dries down nice. This is a keeper. We have 110 Angelic. Everything has the play on the gel words. Again, a little patchy, but it does say opaque satin finish. So this is not going to dry matte. Again, might be a little too grayish pink undertone, but I think with cork or on top of a matte, this could work. I'll make it work. Then again, I had to run Angelic back for y'all because as it's drying, I like. Come boo cover girl. And that's without a liner. Yes. So Tangelo color 120 I did open this one last night because y'all gonna tell from this channel here I am a sucker for a red lip and with the name Tangelo we already know I got orange in it yeah no I got some red oranges that are fire that I do like um yeah I ain't too crazy about this one now I came back on camera after I have 130 already applied um, just to see how it dried down and see if they're more of a gel liquid lipstick or if they're more of a color lip balm. I guess it could be on the play on words from the company. My favorite is going to be 110, 105, 100 and then these other two is just like, mm. But I will say the Dofa is well made, it's comfortable, um, it's pointed in the corners and that's what really should matter. Um... But to get away from liquid mattes for a while, I think I would definitely pair these three with some of my liners I have and definitely, definitely rock with them. But that gel is going to be a play on words. They're not the only ones that got something for that. Watch this. 
So as I was doing my shopping last week at CVS with my vlog, I'll put that here, I stumbled upon the new Wet n Wild gel lip balms as well. But my store only had this one color, so I've actually already tried this and it's not a color payoff as well. Let me I'm gonna show y'all that real fast before I'm done with this video. And I have the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Matte Lipsticks. Back to the liquid matte again. Wet n Wild. Mega Blast Cat Suit and Berry Nouveau. Nice dofa. Comfortable dofa. Pointed. Glide on so smooth. Now I'm going to come back and show y'all how this one dries down. Do y'all see this? I am sitting here low key height. Yes, wet and wild. One swipe. Not patchy. Not even grayish. For free with my coupons. Yes, wait and wow, come through. But the one I'm hyped about, I'm going to show y'all next. Liquid Cat Suit and Rebel Rose. As soon as I saw this, I know I had to pick her up. Oops. That nice soft dofa. Who does this remind you of? If you had to play Who Am I right now, who is this? I'm going to let it dry and come back. One layer and she is dry. Tell me this is not a dupe for Kat Von D's Lolita. This is no liner, no concealer, no nothing. You know, it's going to be kind of patchy because they're light colors and let's just be real. If you don't have lip injections, them lips aren't smooth, you're going to crease. But other than that, got a little grayish undertone, but they ring a dupe for Lolita. Well, y'all, I'm digging this. And for free? Or $5? Y'all better go get y'all one. I hope this review was very informative and I'm going to end it by adding a couple of quotes of the Wet n Wild lip balm because... We put in some lip work today, um, which does feel really, really good on the lips. But if you can get your hand on some of these items, I would definitely say some of them are a hit, some of them are a miss. But most importantly, I hope you all enjoyed the review and thank you for rocking with me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, notify, and I will see y'all on the next one. I just feel like I just got a lot of content rolling out there because I'm super, super motivated. So y'all be good. Frugal fam, I'll see y'all next time.